The war is upon us, and our swords are ready for battle. Okay, not quite. First, we have to tell our story. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with a heavy, heavy amount of joy that I get to say. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Summon Knight Swordcraft Story for the GBA. I'm the Medieval Massacre, and I haven't played this game in about eight years. So let's see how that works out. First off, I'm going to take a sip of my nondescript drink. Hmm. That's probably tell what it is. That's fine. Uh, as you can see, we got a little bit of a cleaner look. I apologize that my webcam's not the greatest. But, um... We're here. We're here, my dudes. We're gonna go ahead and choose a character. I can also, by the way, see my overlay. It's, like, right there. My game is, like, right there, and my overlay's right there. So, no more forgetting what the discussion is. We're gonna talk about that discussion right now. What is the most underrated GBA game? I... I don't know if I would put this as underrated, because surprisingly a lot of people know about this game. Uh, if you don't, I highly recommend that you pick it up and you play it. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what my most underrated game for the GBA is. I'll go ahead and say this game for now until I play another one that's underrated and say that one. Uh, but, I'm gonna go ahead and of course play the female character, cause that's how I do. Oh my god, it's so awesome. Me, me. Huh? Cut. Uh, make up? With who? Are you listening to me? Wake up! Why is Mother yelling about makeup? I've tried to get you out of bed seven times this morning. Are you going for a new record? The opening ceremony is today, remember? Now get down here! That's today? Uh-oh. I forgot to set my alarm. Like how I forgot to set my timer. <laughs> oh. Professionalism. Showing off in the first episode. Hey. Going up in the first episode. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh oh. I have to get ready in a couple of hours. You mean in a couple of seconds? What's that? Ah! Huh? What was that? Are you alright, Mother? Well, before we do that, let's come over here and get our entrance ticket. This is my entrance ticket. I can't get into the central tower without it. We got that entrance ticket, though. Uh, there's nothing else here. I love how it's got, like, upbeat and holy shit music. Like, you would think we're about to get our starter and save the professor from this, like, wild Pokemon encounter. Mother, are you okay? Hello? What are you talking about? Huh? It wasn't you that screamed? Of course it was. I just wanted to make sure you were awake. Don't do that! I thought you were hurt, or worse. Yeah. Oh, yay, we're playing as Lolly Sailor Moon. With a sword. Fuck. <laughs> well, that's an interesting way to come downstairs, isn't it? I think I told my note is broken. <laughs> it's fucking adorable, actually. That looked like it hurt. Are you alright? Are you kidding? Of course not! Who put those there? I'm guessing it was the carpenters who built the house. Well, yeah, but, uh, fuck you. How can you forget where the stairs are in your own house? Are you trying to make me worry about you? Because it's working! Of course I didn't forget. I'm fine. I am literally trying to do two different female voices, like one younger and one older. I have no idea if it's not just coming off as the same fucking voice. But, yo, know, first off, I gotta mention... Do these characters not look adorable? Like, look at Amaris! 
she looks like... First off, she looks 18. So <laughs> Thank you, Japan. And our nameless hero, which we're about to name right now. I'm not so sure. Do you know where you are? What's your name? You're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding. I'm making sure you're alright. Now tell me your name. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. This is actually a really cool way to name your character. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but that is where the, uh, the compliments end. The official name for the female character is Pratty. You have a gorgeous name like Amorous. And you named your kid Pratty. We get to find out what her dad's name is, too, and it's fucking hardcore. And Pratty is what you went with. No, no. No, sir. No, ma'am. We're not doing this. I'm actually going to name her... Kita. And there's a reason. While doing some research for this game, like the fucking weeb I am, I was looking up some Japanese pronunciations. And, uh, like, words, what they mean, and shit like that. Kitaru. Ki Kitaru. Forgive me, I fucking butchered that shit. Is the Japanese verb meaning to forge, or to train. To get stronger through training. Which I think is perfect for this character. You know, we're starting off at the bare minimum, and we're, we will get stronger through forging weapons and training ourselves. So, I'm gonna go with Kita. Short for Kiteru. My name is Kita. As if I for could forget that. Yeah, it's not like fucking Pratty. Jesus, that's bad. I don't know what the male name. Uh, what the male character's name is, so maybe it's better, but Jesus. Next question, what is your job? Why is Mother asking me such absurd questions? One little accident and she fears the worst. I work for a craft night, Mother. And what do you do for this craft night? I'm his apprentice. And what does this craft night do? He forges metal into weapons and he teaches me how to do it too. Satisfied yet? No, not yet. What's my name? That's easy. Amorous. For a split second, her name goes to question marks. That's fucking brilliant. That is some psychomantis shit. What? That's not my name. Stop fooling around. I'm just kidding. You're fine. Of course I am. It sounded like an earthquake when you fell down the stairs. I thought the house was about to collapse. Like an earthquake? Is Mother trying to say I'm fat? I mean, yo, girl, you're right. Anyway, don't you remember what's happening today? Of course I do. Today is the opening ceremony of the tournament that determines the new craft lord. The craft lord becomes the Knight of Western, the legendary city of swords. Yeah, before Westeros was a thing, we had Wistern, motherfucker. And is giving the honored task of guarding Parista, the sacred spirit of the Holy Sword. I never thought I would be chosen to participate in the tournament. It almost feels like a dream. But I intend to win the tournament and become the guardian of Parista, just like Father did. But I'll never win if I don't leave right now! Hold on! Here, take this with you. What's this? A good luck charm? It looks kind of old. That is your father's lucky charm. I made it to protect him. You did. He took it with him wherever he went, until one day, three years ago. That's gonna be something that kind of follows us throughout the entire game, is exactly what happened to our dad. We don't really know. Perhaps he left it here on purpose. Mother? Your training is about to become much more difficult. And you have many arduous battles ahead of you. Yo, fucking props to the translation team for putting the word arduous in there and not, you know, treating kids like a dumbass. Actually, that's 
that's one of the things that this game really does, is not treat their fucking audience like they're brain dead. I'll get more into that later. This charm will help you. Your father was never injured when he carried it with him. Thank you, Mother. I'll take good care of it. We got the Father's Charm. You'd better go. You don't want to miss it. Good luck. You can count on me. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to get this water scooter. This is my water scooter. With it, I can ride across water. And, uh, yeah, she right. The central tower. It's in the heart of the city, but I've never been inside. I wonder what it looks like. So, if you see uh, things like this where you can dip into the water, yeah, you can go ahead and use your water scooter and uh, traverse water easily. Welcome to the Silver, Silver Guild, oh, oh fair citizen of Wiston. Oh, it's you, Kita. The tournament starts today, doesn't it? Do your best and make us proud. That's right. We're an official member of the Silver Guild. The Central Tower. Yeah, I mean it's a big off, it's a big fuck off tower in the center, so GG. I'm starting to get nervous. Ah, oh, I love this guy. Hold up a sec. Hold up a sec. I've been doing female voices. Kita, what are you doing? Why are you just standing there? You're gonna be late. Hello, Master. Good morning. You're cutting it a little close, aren't you? Don't worry, I still have time. Sounds something like- sounds just like something your father would have said. Why not try being more like your mother? What are you talking about? He was always running late and making excuses for it. Just like a woman. Hey, that's sexist. Girl, you right. I think I should tell mother of your poor attitude towards the female gender. Now, why would you go and do something cruel like that? Just kidding, Master. Not that you and Mother get along well, anyway. You really think so? Yes. <laughs> Yo, fucking Kita with the harshness. Thank you for your honesty, however depressing it is. Well, I'm heading back to the Silver Guild. Come and find me after the opening ceremony. And you better win the tournament, because I don't work with second-class apprentices. Second-class apprentices? Master Braun isn't exactly filling me with confidence. Anyway, I'll head to the Silver Guild right after the ceremony. Yeah, yeah, wait up. I've been there so much lately, it almost feels like my second home. So, when it comes to Braun, I've always pictured him as, like, Hagrid with balls. <laughs> He even talks like Hagrid. Like, if there was a live-action Summon Knight, he'd be played by Robbie Coltrane. He definitely would. Uh, let's move on up here. Um... Ah, uh, hello. Hello! Wow, she's beautiful. You're excited, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah, okay, so you're weird, lady. Don't be weird, lady. Hey, look at this! It's a thing where we can save the game! Don't look at that. We're gonna save the game right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, level one. That's what we are. Okay. So something I do gotta admit to you guys. I'm gonna come out here while I do it so that there's some music in the background. I did a practice run of this game. Not to completion, but quite far into the game. I did this so that th I wouldn't be running around the game with my head cut off and trying to figure out what to do, like I have been in Prism and Hamtaro, and I, I know where I'm going. That being said, there's not going to be a lot of, you know, like, oh, I didn't know this was there, like, I, I totally know it's there, but I sacrificed one for the other. So, that's what, something I'm going to leave up to you guys. Do you guys prefer it if I play through the game once, or play at least far enough that I know what I'm doing, and then record it? Or do you guys want me to go in fresh so you guys can get more natural reactions? Uh, 
I guess maybe save that for the end of the series, but I, I'm definitely interested in finding out what you guys think about that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, move up here. Entrance ticket, please. Your Kita, yes. The opening ceremony is taking place in this hall. Enter, please. And once again, the sound cuts out for me. Like, you guys can still hear it, because it's part of the recording, but the sound has completely cut out for me. There are a lot of people here. Now, uh, at this point, we can't move around, but we can talk to people. What? What do you want? Oh, actually, I should be giving her a, a fucking voice, because you're a character. What? What do you want? Darn, we can't go to the third level yet. The central tower is the castle of the craft lords. Hey, you! Who's your guardian beast? What's a, what's a guardian beast? A guardian beast is a creature that acts as your assistant to help you forge weapons. I don't have one of those. Everyone in the tournament will use a weapon that was made with the help of a guardian beast. You'll never survive if you don't have a guardian beast of your own. Welcome to the opening ceremony of the Craft Lord Tournament. Well, this is it. I'm getting nervous. Luber, the Craft Lord of Amber. Urexa, the Craft Lord of Jade. And Sakuro, the Craft Lord of Sapphire. These three masters have, decide have deigned to address you and you would be wise to heed their words. <laughs> okay, so... The Craft Lord of Emo. The Craft Lord of Blandness. He's probably friends with Prince Hans of the Kingdom of Blandness. And the Craft Lord of fucking evil. <laughs> Look! I- oh... I'm not about to bring out the roast hand super hard, but look at this pointy-jawed Orochimaru-looking motherfucker. Oh my god. Like, why is this guy so evil? He's so evil. Welcome, apprentices of the faith. Welcome, children of the craft knights who defend the city of Thor. Today begins the tournament in which the skills you have learned will be tested. It was three years ago that we lost Shintetsu, our strongest and most respected craft lord. Three years? Maybe they mentioned something happened to our father three years ago? <laughs> <clears throat> Jesus. Three years. Has it really been three years since he died? Look at the badassery that is our father, Shintetsu, the craft lord of manliness. Holy crap. This guy is fucking badass. I gotta snap out of it and pay attention. And Shintetsu's loss was followed by the disappearance of Tyrim, the craft lord of crystal. We need to find a replacement for these men to join the other craft lords of Wister as the guardians and protectors of Parista, the spirit that dwells within the Holy Sword. A position has been prepared for one of the apprentices in this chamber, and we will determine which of you standing before us is worthy of claiming this position. The majority of you lack the skill to be a worthy apprentice, let alone a craft lord, but all of you possess the gift of youth, and a few of you the potential that comes with it. We must harness that potential to protect Wister. We must do whatever is needed to fortify the City of Swords. I should think a craft lord would know better than to have such a flawed opinion. How does he expect all the adults in this city who cannot craft a decent we Oh, how does he explain all the adults in this city who cannot craft a decent weapon? Who is that? And why is he so full of himself? Doesn't he know how unattractive that is? What's the female equivalent of a fuckboy? Whatever. 
The next craft lord should be strong and beautiful, just like me. Oh, another girl in the tournament. I hope we'll be good friends. Ha! Look at all these worry warts! I'm guaranteed to win this tournament! That kid must be the youngest one in the tournament. I hope he doesn't get hurt. But I need to stop letting my mind wander and start listening to the craft lords. To test your skills and to see which of you is worthy of becoming a craft lord, you are all allowed to fight only with weapons that you have crafted yourself. A battle is won when your opponent yields to you, or when their weapon breaks. That sounds easy enough. I know I can craft a weapon strong enough to see me through. I'll prove to everyone in Wister that I'm pr worthy of being the next craft lord. We will allow your masters to aid you in the forging of your weapons. We will also allow you to receive assistance during your battles. But only one partner is allowed to accompany you into combat. Just catch that. One partner. Keep that in the forefront of your mind. A partner? I bet he's referring to a guardian beast. I wonder how many of these people have one. Now the background of my computer just changed and it kind of freaked me out. All of you are hereby granted passage into the dungeon of the central tower. There, you can collect materials with which to craft your weapons. The person who possesses the keys to the dungeon will bring one to each of you later on. The dungeon of the central tower leads to the shrine of Parista. I've heard stories of summoned creatures that were summoned to protect Parista, and no longer listen to their masters. There are many dangers in this dungeon, placed there to ensure the safety of the great Parista. These dangers will not be lessened or removed for you. You will have to confront them, and overcome them on your own. If you cannot defend yourself, you are not worthy of being in this tournament. Gh. As for who you will fight in each round of the tournament, your opponent will be announced by the central tower before the start of your battle. So we won't know who we're fighting until the last minute? That seems like a strange way to arrange the tournament. You must always remember the Craft Knight's Code. Guys, it's on the screen. It's actually... It, it, there we go. It's on the screen right there. Say it with me. Say it with me. A sword is not strength. A sword is not skill. A sword is not fellowship. Let the code guide your efforts. They will be rewarded. Friendships will be forged in the heat of battle. When your skill is sharpest, and your weapon is deadliest, you will be your own master. I sincerely hope that one of you will become our equal and join us as a craft lord. That is all. The ceremony is complete. Well, we know what we gotta do now. We have to head back and, uh, first off, save our game so we don't have to go through that fucking bullshit anymore. And we're Gucci. We gotta head to the Silver Guild. Oh, that lady's no longer here? Hella creepy, though. Where is Master Brom? Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, there you are! Yeah. Great minds think alike, my dude? And you're late, again. I'm sorry, Master. Your apology is accepted. Let's talk about the tournament, eh? I've never seen Master Braun quite so serious. Answer me this. Do you have the skill and the confidence to win this tournament? Of course, Master. I'm the daughter of Shin Tetsu, the Cla the Cla the craft lord of Ayo? No. Ah, uh, hold up a sec. There's a fuck ton of dialogue. Of course, Master. I'm the craft lord of Shintetsu, the craft lord of iron. I'll win the tournament no matter who stands in my way. I admire your confidence. Your father was a great man, and he earned the respect of everyone in this city. But you can't expect to win the tournament just because you're his kid. I realize that, Master. I'm gonna be blunt. You don't have the skill or the brains to win this tournament. This is a th this is an ongoing theme. We will get shit talked all through this game. Fuck us, basically. You don't even have the skill to win your first battle. Is that really how you feel, Master? I'm sorry to hear it. 
Well, you don't have to worry, because I'm going to tell you how to take this tournament. Is that so, Master? But I've never crafted a weapon on my own. I've only helped you make them. Don't worry so much. You might win this thing yet. Although, also, you should remember that I've got other apprentices in the tournament, too. And I'm not going to play favorites with any of you. All right, Master. Right, then. Follow me to my room. I got something special for you. It's this dead. <sighs> is that who I think it is, Master? That's right, he's a summoner. I brought him into Western for one purpose and one only. He's gonna summon the Guardian Beast that'll become your partner in battle. And I've gotta help him get it ready. Alright. I'm gonna have a Guardian Beast at my side. I never would've expected this, Master. I'm still in shock. Why are you so surprised? Did you think you would win this tournament all by yourself? No, but I'm not sure that a Guardian Beast is something I deserve to have. I was taught that only a skilled craft knight should possess a Guardian Beast. The only way you're gonna win this tournament is if you stop playing by the rules. Take the Guardian Beast. You're gonna need it. Yes, Master. Do what you came here to do, Summoner. Oh, indeed, Bron. Yes, yes, that's very good. Tell me, child. I'm getting nervous again. Yes, sir? What do you think of Shintetsu? What a strange question. How should I answer it? I don't actually know what this does. I don't know if it changes your Guardian Beast. I'm almost pretty sure it doesn't. But maybe it does? Uh, I just answer fucking honestly what I think the character is like. My goal is to follow the footsteps of my father and become a craft lord. Mm, the child has been raised well. I have another question. What is the most important to a craft knight? How would my father have answered this question? A craft knight can't make a weapon without taking the natural order into account. He has to embrace nature into his creations, not reject it. True, true. But a craft knight has to be more of a fighter than a tree hugger. I'm sorry, motherfucker, we have differing opinions. I mean, you suck my dick and give me a fucking summon beast. Bitch? If you don't have a strong weapon, you can't protect nature or yourself. Yeah, no, there has to be both. That's what I said. Like, fucking dick? Hello? You wanna go outside? I'll fucking take that giant ass battle axe in the back there. Fucking oops upside your head. That is correct. Now it's time to get you a guardian beast. In a moment, Braun, I have one final question to ask. What does love mean to you? What is love? <laughs> What's love got to do? Got to do with your bullshit? Give me a summon beast. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> this is where people are going to differ. And I actually answer it the way that I would answer it. Because both of these, I believe, have to do with love. But I'm, I'm a protector. It's always how I've been. So, for me, it's protecting someone from harm. Love is protecting someone who needs your help, no matter the consequences to yourself. An intriguing answer. Let us begin the ritual. I need something that is important to you, in order to call forth a guardian beast that is bonded with you. Something important. Oh, I know! The good luck charm! That was your father's charm. How did you come to have it? It was a gift. All right, now take hold of the summonite gem. That's how you mega evolve your summon. Oh, fucking Pokemon. Summonite gem? What's that? The magical stone with which the summon beast is called forth. Focus your thoughts and wish for a guardian beast to aid you in your battles. Concentrate. Yes. Now I will open the portal into another world, using the words and methods of the ancients. Hear me, noble beast. Hear me and submit to my power. And now shout thy name. The name of the newborn. Thy master shall be... Kita. Kuti? What? What? What is he? He's cute. 
Cootie! I'm keeping its name. It's fucking adorable! Cootie is fucking so cute! <laughs> yes? No- Oh! Yes. Well, what a surprise! He has summoned Cootie! Huh? What's so surprising about it, Master? Cootie is the guardian beast that your father used to command. Cootie! This can't be a coincidence. My hunch is that the bond between him and your father was so strong that he sensed the child of Shintetsu summoned him. Anyway, follow me to the second floor and I'll show you your new workshop. Let's go, Cootie. Cootie! Ah, he licked me! Cootie! Oh, okay, and he just fucking cold cocked the bitch in the face. Ouch, he hit me! Cool. Is he upset? Cootie! He laughed. So, Cootie, do you want to go upstairs? Cootie can now be summoned. Talk to your guardian beast by pressing select. So, yeah. Uh, this is basically your hint system on the game. Let's go upstairs. Master Braun is waiting for us. Goody! Our own workshop is almost done. Won't that be nice? Yo, uh, Facebook notification? If you could just fuck off right now, that'd be fucking beautiful. Here you are! Only tournament entrants are allowed into the workshop on the second floor. And your workshop is here. Alright. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, where we will be spending a good fucking portion of this game. Wow, this is my workshop. I hope you like it. Because you're gonna be working here day and night from now on. Are you kidding? Don't you want to win the tournament? Don't you want to be a craft lord? Then stop complaining like a spoiled little brat. But, but... Your mother agreed that you should live here during the tournament. So the decision's already been made for you. Yes, Master. Why are you so depressed? You're following in your father's footsteps, just like you want it. You should be proud, not sad. Yes, Master. Now it's time to teach you my secret techniques of weapon forging. Seriously? Wow! Except that I don't got the time to teach you right now, because I'm too busy. What? Come on, Master. I'm a fast learner. I'll let you know when I'm ready to start your lessons. You can hang around till then. Alright. Cootie? Hey, Cootie. Wanna go outside? Cootie! Where do you wanna go? How about the park? Coo. How about Central Tower? Cootie. We can't go everywhere. We need to choose just one. Cootie! Ouch! Cut it out! We'll find some place you wanna go, okay? He's a ferocious little terror when he wants to be. Okay, so, uh... How about the harbor? That doesn't make you want to hit me, does it? Cootie! Great, let's go. That ship. Listen up, Kitty. Let's board that ship. This is nice. It brings back memories of the trip that Father and I used to- that I took to Vance a long time ago. Father brought you to many more places than he did me. The two of you must have had some wonderful adventures. I really envy you. I really envy you. Kitty! I'm not jealous, mind you. Well, perhaps a little. Yeah, jealous and envious is the same thing. It's the same thing. Kitty! Hey, Cootie. If I become a craft lord, I'll take you all over the world. We'll visit more places than you and Father ever saw. Okay, Cootie? Cootie? He fell asleep. He must have been tired. Good night, Cootie. Now, where should I start? Master said that he was going to teach me a new technique before the first match. Cootie! Sure. Let's go ask Master. Well, we see that there's a place to save our game. So we're going to save our game. And then we're going to end off this episode. We got a lot of information in one go. So. 
If you guys like this episode, and you're psyched for this series, let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, and find a way to make that like button your bitch. Follow me on Twitter at Time for a Massacre and use the hashtag TellYourStory. If you guys are super hyped for this. Whew! In the next one, we learn our very first technique and forge the very first weapon we have. Well, maybe. I'm the Medieval Massacre. I'm psyched for a new series, and I hope you guys are too. And that's the 411.